if you are searching a code for how to create a dynamic pagination in code igniter or if you want to learn how to create a dynamic pagination by using code igniter framework so in this video we will learn how to set or how to create dynamic pagination in code igniter so watch this video till the end and welcome back to signer web youtube channel and myself ds patel for pagination we already created one example so let's check that example and view the output how pagination will work so here we already created one block for you so you can easily step by step set up pagination in your project so let's check the output first right so here you can see live demo which already we have created so whenever you clicking on this view demo link then you will get this output here you can see this is a live pagination right that pagination will get from database table so this pagination is work like charm here you can see everything i set up in this demo here you can click on last you can click on first so everything is working in this pagination or also we provide a search code also so you can search with pagination so that search will also work with uh, pagination right now how to create a pagination so for that we need to follow this blog i already shared this link in my video description so you will get a link directly from my video description so first we need to follow this step now what is the first step you need to create one table like here we create one table like employee data you so simply you need to create this table and after that step 2 you need to insert the data so i also i so i also provide this uh, uh, insert script here so you simply copy paste this code and insert the data inside this employee data table right now step 3 is what you need to create two two functions in your model file for that we create one model file pagination_model.php so we will go to our project so here we already created that uh, file also so inside this project you need to go to application and inside the models folder in that model folder you can see this file we already created right so basically in this file we created two functions like all records and data list by using this first function all record will get how many record already available in this table so simply we write it down one query select star from or select id from employee data table so this query will return number of row available in this table now simply we will get a total number of record by using this function now here you can see we will get data list it means what get all the record but with some limit and some offset that will be covered in uh, our controller file so, so we will i will explain what is the limit and what is the offset right so simply that limit and offset will we will pass from our controller file so so here you can see we get uh, data like id employee num number name and address simply from employee data table so this is a simple one uh, function which we have created in model file and also you can you want to add some where condition so you must have to add where condition here i don't want to where condition that's why i am not adding but i already provided that where link here so if you want to add where link then you must have to add where link by by using this where condition now simply you have to copy paste this code now step 4 is what you need to create one controller file like a pagination.php inside your controller folder so we will go to controller folder controllers so here you can see we created one file pagination.php 
Now inside this pagination controller, you must have to remember to include one library like pagination, right? So you must have to remember to include this library and also you have to load your model file pagination underscore model which already we have created here previously, right? Now here you can see we take one if condition. By using this if condition we will check is there any data available in search box so that searching text will store inside this title variable and that a title variable value will store inside this array. Now here you can see we create one function like or we call one function to get all record details which is already created in our model file you can see that already we have created that all record value will store inside this all record variable and you need to create one base URL you must have to pass that base URL in our paging array and here you can see we have a pass total number of rows per page how, how much record you need to display by per page so if you if I change that 5 to 10 then you can see here you can see we have a display 5 records only but if you want to display 10 records per page then you must have to change that attribute value right so here you can see now 10 records will display here and here you can see URI segment num links that all mandatory attribute you must have to pass here we have a pass some bootstrap class for a designing purpose so here you can see that all class we have a pass for designing purpose here you can see that that pagination pagination success so that class will apply automatically so you must have to pass that all bootstrap class function for designing right now we we simply initialize that pagination by using this pagination and initialize method inside this initialize method we have a pass that all the attribute which we have already applied right now here you can see we set some limit per page we already we have a applied that per page then and here we set some offset right so that offset you must have to provide and finally here you can see we create a link so now here you can see we call one function like data list which we have already created in our model file here you can see here you can see we pass limit offset and title so you must have to pass that uh, our limit offset and title inside this function now here you can see we need to pass that all the data inside this view pagination underscore list view so finally here you can see now step 5 is what you need to create one pagination list underscore view so i already created that view inside our view folder here you can see pagination list view now here you can see now here you can see we have created one text box for searching and that id and name is equal to title and here also you can see one create a one button for search that is this one and now how to display those record so for that we have a create one simple table with these columns so th that column name also display here now here you can see we access our data list array so here you can see inside this data list array will get all the record from our data list function which is written from this model file so that uh, all records store inside this data list array 
and that data list array will access here. Here you can see we will check that array have some data or not. So first that we will check this array and after that access this array by using for each loop. So by using this for each loop we will access those record. So here you can see we will access EMP number, name, address and everything. So for that you can see we will display those record here. Now you must have to remember you must have to pass or you must have to use echo dollar links which we have created by using pagination library you so you must have to use these links so by using this pagination library we create a links so that a links array you must have to or you must have to use this links or you must have to display this link by using this echo dollar links so here you can see that link will display here so simply you must have to write this link by using echo function so simply you need to echo that link here by using this uh, simple one so this is how pagination is working so if you have any query regarding this pagination please write it down your comment in comment section and i hope you will like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel because we will make so many video very soon and we already created so many blog in our website so you will get so many blog from our website so i hope you will like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching and keep subscribers thank you